Finder. I'm back with another video and it's about my hair again for some reason. Just deal with it, okay? I'll be back with other contents. My hair is looking like a vegetable right now and I just can't take it anymore. We're going to retouch it together. Kunyari, nandito kayo. I'll be back. I will separate my hair into buns so that Life will be easier. I also put on my gloves which are already used because this has been the gloves that I've been using to do my hair. I bought a brush but I won't be using that today because just because I like using my hands. Probably not the most satisfying application but I love doing this and I like seeing the color difference. I also want to talk about something that I've been holding back. Well, not much because I talk about this with friends, with my mom, and I just want to put it on the internet. Maybe people will hate me for this, but this is my opinion about Disney sequels and Disney live action adaptations. I have a love-hate relationship with sequels, Disney sequels in particular, especially when the, the original movie has been loved by the audience and will be hard to follow. And there are Disney sequels that succeeded, let's say, that I liked but I want to look at it in a technical manner, not just what are my favorites. And you know what? Some Disney sequels I have already forgotten. I forgot that they existed. But there are some that I remember so much that they have a special place in my heart. Disney loves profiting out of stuff. And I guess that was their motive for some of these movies. And it sucks because they ruined some characters because of the sequels. One example is the Little Mermaid 2. It feels like a knockoff version of the original because it's like doing the same thing but the character development of Ariel in the first one just it's gone. The character motivation of Ariel in the first one is like scrapped off in the sequel. Um, and it's like she's acting like his father in the first movie. She's against this, this, that, blah, blah, blah. I thought I liked it when I was younger, but then looking back at it now, I just... I probably forgot most of them because the sequels are straight to DVD and you can't really... you don't really have a lot of access. Another sequel that I think I loved is the... Mulan 2. If you look at the plot, it's kind of meh, but I love the princesses, you know, and of course the three guys that I forgot the name of. I swear I know their names, but I forgot, um, but I can't remember it right now. And then let's talk about the um, Cinderella sequels, the Cinderella 2 and Cinderella 3. For some reason, I know there are three Cinderellas, but I forgot, I always forget what the story of Cinderella 2 is. It's about Anastasia finding a guy, but that also happened in Cinderella 3. So that it's like even the producers pretended like Cinderella 2 didn't exist, and Cinderella 3 is awesome. Like, like I think that's my favorite Disney animated sequel. Let's not forget about Frozen 2 because everybody loves Frozen, I guess. Okay, maybe not everybody likes Frozen because and not everybody likes Elsa because they say that Elsa is so bland that she doesn't have personality. But I like her, she's a queen. And I used to love Olaf but eventually he just got kinda annoying. It's already a given that Frozen 2 is not the best sequel, especially to a beloved movie. I can forgive them that because they actually have a documentary, which I didn't watch. I only watched the action video about the documentary and 
I'll try to link it down below if I find it. A lot of things went wrong in the production of Frozen 2. I wish they were given more time so that they could have given their best to the movie. I'll also link down below the videos that James Gorman made about Disney sequels. Um, it has a he has a playlist of it because he made a lot and his videos are very entertaining. I had like a phase of watching just his videos. Gosh, please don't get me wrong. I'm like one of the biggest fans of Disney and I'm making this not to ridicule them but I'm hoping that if they're planning to make sequels, they'll make it better and not just for money. Speaking of profiting out of movies, I want to talk about live adaptations. Live action adaptations or whatever they are called. As much as I love having them, I just... they're kind of unnecessary. I am sold by nostalgia but they just can't keep doing that to us, you know? Like, there are animated movies that are meant to be animated. Beauty and the Beast life, ad life, live adaptation. Belle's dress. Like, I'm not against Belle not wearing a corset, but at the same time, I wish they gave the dress more structure because it just didn't look as rich as it is supposed to be, especially because of the set. Because the set was so big and they were dancing, the dress didn't pop like it did in the animated Beauty and the Beast. And I know that it's hard to translate animated dresses into real life dresses. Secondary characters have better dresses than Belle. And I think I even like the last dress that Belle wore. I'm not like trying to cancel out Jacqueline Duran's work. Jacqueline Duran made a lot of costumes that are amazing. I just can't comment Belle's dress because there's a lot of things wrong with it. I'm going to link down Modern Girls. The problem with Belle's dress because that is more detailed. But um, yeah, the structure was lost. The color wasn't golden enough. It wasn't rich. And this thing doesn't really care about inaccuracy, but the dress is extremely historical inaccurate. But the other characters had historically accurate dresses. And I know that these are like magical places, magical times, like it's not something that is true to reality, but still, you know, just some changes would make it better last thing about Belle's dress um they added the um magical elements to it like magical details you know what i mean that one scene but it didn't really do much like Belle's dress is iconic and it just the live adaptation just didn't really give the just didn't really give it much justice aladdin the characters weren't really introduced better because in the animated version of Aladdin, we had a better connection with Aladdin, with Princess Jasmine, and Genie. I love Will Smith, but I feel like they should have gave him the freedom to interpret Genie in his own way. It kind of became an impersonation of the original Genie. Another thing that just is wrong is the music. I love the music, but it's kind of unnatural. Like, they were lacking emotions, and it's not because of the actors, but because of the way it was edited. They were There were a lot of autotunes involved, which erased the natural enunciation of a person when you sing in a movie you want it to emote Maleficent I love the Maleficent movies because they gave Princess Aurora a lot of screen time they gave her an arc they gave her like you know more motivation I just want to say that Aurora 
used to be my favorite favorite Disney princess but then there came Rapunzel and she is my number one I listened down line to and like I don't really want to talk about all the things that is that are wrong with Lion King because is it even a live action adaptation? Yes, it's mostly CGI. So let's just talk about how they casted Beyonce as Nala, but they didn't give Nala a solo song. Like Spirit is not a solo for Nala. It was a background song. Could have used Beyonce. They gave the Beast a solo, they gave Jazz Princess Jasmine a solo, but they didn't give Nala a solo. I'm all, I almost forgot about Cinderella. I love Cinderella, but I guess when I wrote down my notes, I was really negative, so... But even, even then, I forgot about Mulan. <laughs> Mulan is, despite her not being my number one, Mulan is the best Disney princess. Okay, like she's a badass. I was gonna say I wanna be like her, but I don't wanna be in war and kill people. So I just wanna be a badass like her. I'm not gonna go into detail, but you we know what happened to the actress that played Mulan in the live action movie. Well, it's not cancel the movie because of her, because a lot of people worked to make it happen and it would suck for them but despite that it still fell short i kind of fell asleep while watching it the acting was bland um it didn't really feel like a disney movie and then some of the changes were just meh like the phoenix didn't really do much the new antagonist her motivation wasn't really good i really want to like it but it's so unnecessary like i know so i know people who liked it but this video is so negative no i swear in the next videos i will be more positive i'm gonna finish this off Khan. and i'm gonna go back with a rinsed hair this honor on you this honor on your cow this up okay now i kind of just want to sleep right here but I had to wash my hair, of course, and then I dried it, and now I'm here. I always feel like a new person every time I color my hair. Now I'm going to finish Glee Season 4. I'm at Season 4 now. And I'm not excited about Season 5. I think they say that it's the worst, like it has the best music, but the worst storyline. still gonna watch it up to Season 6. Why am I talking about Glee now? Oh my god. So yeah. That's it for the video. Go follow me on Instagram. I'm also gonna eat because I'm quite hungry. I hope you have a great day and keep safe. Sana busog kayo lagi. Sana kompletong tulong yun lagi. And 